meaning that the the <coughs> darkened out uh, labels are switches. For example, the chorus you switch on with that. With the chorus, if it's off, you get a one shot if you click uh, tap on the right. Uh, with the other ones, you have to click on the value, and that acts as an off switch. And hopefully that's clear, usable. Same with the pulse. You switch it on with the, the value and switch it off with the, the label itself. Also with the sub. So there's a few things that are tricky with the, the inherently tricky with the Juno because, for example, the depth and rate pulse width modulation only work if you have the um, pulse value at 3 or the saw value at 3. And I've tried to make this clear with a S there. So um, that if you're on 3 in the pulse then it has a P there. If you're on 3 in the saw and that, that it shows an S there and so on. Um, what makes it even trickier is that actually when rate is on zero then this is the control that you use to control the pulse width meaning it's manual, they say it's manual. Um, less tricky but still kind of unclear is that when you these first four values are down one octave with a sub. The, the last two are down two octaves. So I tried to make that more clear. Um, I think everything else is, is pretty straightforward the with the Alpha Juno. It, it's a great synth. You can get great so sounds out of it. So let's uh, see what happens. I'm just using my remote SL so I can get the aftertouch. <laughs> 